Could I be any more excited about this theme? What's up guys, it's Kim and welcome back to Kim Perfect Creations. Normally I make bullet journal videos, sometimes a random Taylor Swift reaction video and all that kinds of fun stuff. And I will also be doing some Color Street application videos because I'm a Color Street stylist now. So why not? There's only a few out there and people need to know how to apply them. So don't be surprised when you see those pop up. If you're new here, welcome. And please consider hitting that little subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so you never miss when my videos actually come the fuck out. So this video is a little late, just like my last one and my ones before that and everyone before that. Stress lately, so just try and work with me here. It's going to be a friends theme in case you didn't guess by the intro and the shirt. Really excited about it. The theme was really, really easy to do. It was really hard to find a manicure though. What I ended up doing was black with just yellow, blue, and red umbrellas on three accent nails. But you're going to see that in the video. It's really fun. I really had a good time with this theme though, even though it's coming up, you know, when there's only a couple weeks left in September, that's okay. That's okay. Better late than never. <laughs> and laugh so you don't cry. Laugh so you don't cry. Here is the video. Enjoy. All right. So here is that manicure I mentioned. All I did to achieve this look was just use a simple umbrella craft punch. They have these cute little craft punches that come with all these different designs. Um, I almost did a lobster, a cat, I had a duck and a chick. I could have done a lot of things. And I just flipped it upside down to sort of give my nails like a half moon sort of look. And then I just made them green, or I'm sorry, red yellow and blue for of course the friends theme colors so i'm not i don't know i don't hate it i think i could have done a little bit better but there wasn't a lot to choose from so i kind of had to come up with something on my own so anyways getting right on into the setup here this is my cover page and again <laughs> there's literally a taylor swift quote to go with everything in life including friends and this is from um what song is this from? Oh, this is why we can't have nice things. Here's to my real friends. Now, I I went through a couple different things I wanted to do on the cover first. I thought about just doing the door or just the couch or just the fountain, but I saw that that's what a lot of people did that have done this friends theme before, and I wanted to be a little bit different and stand out. So instead, I am just going to be drawing a few different things that are all friends related, sort of coming up um, you know, diagonally across the word September, which is all, of course, in the Friends font. Took a minute to learn, but I got it. Now, obviously, if you haven't seen Friends, you won't know what any of this means. So let me just break it down for you. The pivot is from Ross in the infamous pivot scene. The turkey with the sunglasses on, that's when Monica first told, or sorry, Chandler first told Monica he loved her, the duck and the chick. Chandler and uh, Joey used to have a chicken, a duck, the lobster, he's her lobster. There's just so many references I could go on for days. Regina Falange, that's one of my favorite ones. That's one of Phoebe's mini alter egos. But moving right along, we're now onto the month at a glance. I pretty proud of this one. I came up with a lot of pretty unique things here. Um, right over here it says September Perk. Just like Central Perk. I love it. And under that it's got a little menu and it says what's on the menu this month. And underneath that we have my priorities but in the shape of a foosball table. I've got my social media tracker but that's in the shape of a pizza. Joey's pizza because Joey doesn't share food. Okay. And then I also have another little to-do list down there that's also a little mini um, Central Perk menu as well. So I'm really, really proud of this overall. I think I've just been killing it with the font and with my pictures and everything. I'm just so super proud of this month. And now we're moving on to my habit tracker and brain dump page. I'm not doing a mood tracker because I'm actually putting all my moods into this one big giant tracker. So I 
usually kind of do this like the other way around. I'll just do a habit tracker, or I'm sorry, just a mood tracker, not a habit tracker, because I have a hard time keeping up with my habits, but I'm really, really trying to be better about it. And I figured I'm just going to throw everything in here. I'm going to throw everything I have to do in my instead of making a chore log i'm just gonna put it all on the tracker so it's got all my chores in here it's gonna have all my moods in here it's gonna have everything all just in the big large tracker normally i don't do them in this format but with all these different things it seemed important and i of course i called it the one with the habits just like all the names of every episode of friends and i'm going to show you how i'm going to fill it out because the inspiration that i got for this i will i'll of course leave the link for that down below but it was a big giant tracker like this and they had all of their habits marked as like red blue yellow red blue yellow red blue yellow just for the friends theme colors of course so I just thought that was so genius because it really made it look cohesive and like brought the whole thing together so yeah I just kind of wanted to show you what the finished product is going to sort of somewhat look like because it really does bring the whole friends theme together originally sketched this I had planned on making this my mood tracker actually I wanted to do all the different little cushions in the couch a different shade of orange and then I just figured out that I had all this room in that other tracker and I'm just gonna stick everything in there and make it simple since I have a hard time keeping up with anything lately anyways and I really love the way it came out I love my brain dump pages I always use the heck out of them and I'm just really thrilled so far like the couch came out good the cover came out good the lettering came out good like knock on one but I haven't messed anything up yet but you know we're <laughs> still early okay all right moving on to the first weekly spread this was inspired by, oh my gosh, why can I not remember the name? I can never remember the name when I'm actually doing the voiceover. I, of course, I will link everybody that I, inspired me down in the description below. And her, She really inspired me with this one, though. I love the way that she drew the little people and how they were all just sort of black and white, but with the different colored umbrellas. I kind of just took her idea and sort of made it my own and ran with it because I just loved it. And that's it. So here's the final flip through. Here is my cover. Absolutely love it. I got the Frankie Says Relax. I got Smelly Cat. I got all kinds of little things in there. The one with all the plans. My month at a glance. My habit tracker. My brain dump page. I really love the way that couch looks. And then my first weekly spread. And that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. I say that all the time, but whatever. Don't forget to follow me on my Color Street Facebook group and my Instagram. All that good stuff will be down in the description below. And I will see you guys in a couple weeks for my October plan with me because <laughs> I can't ever be on time. I should just plan to plan my plan with me. So I'm going to plan to plan my plan with me the month after the month. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You, you get the point. Bye guys.